Hey guys, um, so it is Friday and um, you see Eric is not with me. He actually had like a work thing that he had to go do and so he left me all on my lonesome. Uh, but what do you do when you're by yourself and you wanna stay entertained? You play a game or you read a book or you play video games or you order and take out that your husband doesn't like because you can eat anything you want when he's not here. Um, all of those things are true, but today um, I am gonna be playing a game that we reviewed earlier this week. Um, that would be Role Player. Now, this is a game that I've actually never played by myself. I've only ever played it with other people and it is very, very fun with other people. Um, there is backstabbing and like st strategy involved. I mean, the whole game is strategy based um, and you should definitely check out our other video if you don't know anything about role player and you're interested in knowing our opinion of the game. But today I'm gonna play through for the very first time ever, the solo version of role player. It is a one to four game. Um, so apparently you can play it with one player. We're gonna find out how it is, how it goes. Um, so let's dive right in because this game can take upwards of, wait, what does the box say? 60 to 90 minutes. Guys, we're gonna go faster than that. I promise, this is not gonna be that long. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so here we are getting ready to get set up for a one player game, which is very similar apparently to a two player game. I have my rules handy just because I've never played a solitaire game before. So the difference between a one player game and a two player game is that you get a single character sheet. You also remove this card over here, which is diplomacy from the market, um, which says pay one gold to another player to use their skill card. Obviously there are no other players, so you shouldn't include this. Um, you also remove a gold die from the bag. This is gonna be the enemy die, which will be affecting the market as we play. Um, and then we're gonna create the market pile, which I'm gonna do right here. And then after we create the market pile, one of these top, this top card creates a separate trash pile, different than the discard pile. Um, also, I wanted to point out, so I have taken my card, so I am, I, uh, you draw when you're playing, you draw out of the bag and I happen to draw, of course I'm not gonna be able to find one, nope, that's black. I drew, I drew a blue one, so I ended up with this, the blue class card, which is either a sorcerer or a wizard. Um, in this situation, I decided that it made way more sense for me to take sorcerer, which says after buying a trade card, you may take an intelligence attribute action. Each different class card has two sides and they both have different skills that you can use over the course of the game. Um, obviously you have to pick one and stick with it. So I'm gonna take sorcerer. I also was dealt exonerated. So this shows where on this board over here, I should try to get particular colors of dice. So blue in the top left or purple in the far right. Those are what I'm going for in order to gain victory points at the end of the game. Um, also, I received a alignment card, so I got Renegade. If I end up being completely chaotic good, I get three victory points. However, if I end up being <laughs> lawful evil, then I'm getting, gonna get a, a negative one. So. You take these little cubes. One of these goes in the center here because it's gonna get moved around as the course of the game goes. This one goes here just simply to remind you that you are blue. Um, now, so what other setup do I need to do? Um, I have my play sequence card. I have a victory point tracker card. These are front and back. Since I'm the only one playing, it made sense for me to just have both. I won't need this until the very end of the game, but I have it out anyway. Play sequence, enemy die. Now these are my initiative trackers, or like my, my initiative order. The two gets a, a piece of gold on it because gold is good. Um, but I think we're basically ready. So I'm gonna draw my six starting dice and we're gonna see how it goes. So one, two, three, four. I'm not looking, five, six. All right, so roll, ooh, not so bad. All right, so for every gold die, you get two coins. So I'm gonna take these coins and put them over here just because that way they're separate. Um, now, here you see on my Sorcerer card that I'm looking for a strength of 14 or higher, Dexterity 16 or 17, Constitution 15 or 16, Intelligence 18 and up. That's the one I'm really looking for because it gives me four stars or four victory points. Wisdom of 14 or up, Charisma of 14 to 15. So, um, you don't get to use these attribute actions when you're doing setup, but that's okay. I'm gonna put the six 
in my intelligence because I'm gonna need three sixes here in order to get 18. Um, I'm gonna put the blue up here so that it hits my blue strength. Um, the other high number is probably gonna go here for dexterity. My lowest one is probably wisdom. It's also only worth one star, so it's okay if I fail that. I'll put a four here and a four here. Okay, so now that I have my base dice set up, now I could have, if I had wanted to, I could have filled out more. My strategy is usually to fill up one row at a time. That way I have more opportunities to use these attribute actions. Now, the game occurs the same way as in a multiplayer game, which is to draw the number of dice equal to the initiative card. So in this case, three, I'm gonna roll them and then they get placed in lowest to highest order. Beautiful. Um, and then um, I get to pick, apparently. Let me make sure that I'm doing that correctly. Um, yeah, I think so. It says, dice phase, the player chooses an initiative card and places the die on their character sheet and if the player wishes, takes the attribute action as in the multiplayer game. However, if I choose the number one initiative card, the enemy die is not rolled. If I choose the two, um, I move, uh, I roll it. Ooh, that's just tricky. Okay, so if I end up picking the two, I really should probably pick the three because I need that six for here. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna take the th three. All right, so I'm gonna take the three I'm gonna place it here. Now, when I take the third initiative card, I roll the enemy die. On a three, move the middle card in the market to the trash pile. Another card does not come out. Okay, so I'm now left with these two cards. Um, and I could have, on this turn, used the initiative attribute action as well. Um, the initiative attribute action is to re-roll a die. Hmm, I will re-roll this one. I got a two. Okay, great. All right, now buy a card from the remaining cards in the market or discard a card to gain two gold. So I have Intimidate and Acrobatics. Um, each of these cards has a little symbol before the, the text on the card, and the symbol indicates how you should move your alignment when you use that particular skill. Now, some of these are gonna be armor and they don't have that, but these particularly are skill cards. Um, hmm. Before select or after selecting an initiative card, reroll any number of dice in the pool and reorder them. I will take Intimidate. This is going under skills here. On the side of your character sheet, it says skills, weapons, and armor. I will pay one gold. Um, if there are any remaining cards, oh, I could buy more than one if I wanted to. I also couldn't afford this one because I only had two gold. Um, if there are any remaining cards in the market, move them to the trash pile. Trash. Uh, and then cleanup occurs in the same way as the multiplayer game, but keep the enemy die set aside for future turns. So, um... Return any dice in the dice pool to the dice bag. Discard any remaining market cards. Draw new market cards, so three new ones come out. Add a gold to the initiative card. So I'm gonna put another gold here on the two. That's becoming wealthy. Um, and then finally pass the dice bag to the left, which is literally just right back to me. So we get to go again. Um, not good. However, there is a six, so let's just set these out first and figure out what we're gonna do. Now, I can get that six, but I actually need a purple six here. Um, if I wanna be like extra fancy. So if I do, hmm. Now, you can always look at dice if you are confused about something, how something works. Um, Interesting. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put it here in strength. 
So I've taken one, I'm putting it here in strength. I'm actually gonna use the strength power, which is flipping the dice to the exact opposite side, which is a six, which is great. Um, and I'm gonna leave that there. Now, when you choose the one, the enemy die is not rolled. So this doesn't get rolled this turn. Um, oh, I'm wondering if I should have gotten two gold when that dice was selected. I just wanna double check. Yep, two gold from the supply if the player placed a gold die. That's what I thought. So I'm gonna take two more gold. Um, so I have three gold, it's the market phase. Um, hmm. And I didn't decide to use intimidate. It says before or after selecting an in initiative card, reroll any number of dice in the dice pool and reorder them. I technically could have done this in order to make try to make this a six, but it actually worked better for me to just make it a six like that. Um, Ooh, Courageous is good. When scoring an attribute goal, plus two or minus two value to any single attribute score. That could be super helpful in the long run. All right, I'm gonna, I haven't gotten any armor yet. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for broke and I'm gonna spend all my money and I'm gonna take Courageous just so that I have that as an option at the end, which is really important, I think. All right, so. Um, I don't have any charisma tokens. These rounds are gonna definitely move way faster than in a multiplayer game. Um, these dice go back in the bag. I add another die. These get discarded. I put out some new ones. Woo. All right, so now I'm gonna take three more. I did all of that right, right? All right, so. A uh, two, a uh, three, and a four. Um, you know what? I am going to use Intimidate. This will move my alignment to the right. I will reroll all of them. Oh, that was way worse, guys. That wasn't good at all. Um, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be silly and I'm gonna take this two so that I get two gold, and then I also get all the gold that's on here. Now, the wisdom modifier uh, attribute says that I can move my, my alignment one direction. I will move it up to three already, because why not? It can't move off the board, so if I'm in the corner, then I can't, can't get pushed that way, and I can't get pushed up, which is good. Um, and then for this, in a solitaire game, if you take the, t the, the second initiative card, Let's roll the enemy die, a four. On a four to six, do nothing. So we don't do anything. I have five gold. Um, if I took Obnoxious, which is gain two victory points for any attribute roll with three of the same color dice, I could go for another gold here. But I think I'm gonna move because this is a purple, so that's probably not the best idea. Um, Longsword when scoring attribute goals, plus one value to all of your dice of your class color, so blue, so that would make that a five. That could be good. Foolish gain two if either your intelligence or wisdom attribute score is eight or less. That's not gonna happen. Well, my wisdom might be. Hmm. That's interesting, because then I could put all my dump stats here. I could end up with a really low, and since that's only worth one, all right, I'll do that. So. Now, you don't have to buy, you can always trash, and that actually gives you two gold when you do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and spend two to take this. Uh, and that's the end. So let me put these back. These get discarded. Uh, maybe I should have kept Longsword. Oh well. Put a gold back here. This gets refreshed. All right. Four, two, five. So let's do this. Okay, so what shall we do? I need some more sixes, guys. That's really the problem here. Um, if I put this five in constitution, I could make it one, I could make it a six. If I put 
the five in dexterity, I could move this to here. So actually I'm gonna take this three. I don't need to move that. I'm gonna take this three, I'm gonna put it in dexterity. So now I have 10 in dexterity and the attribute says swap something. So I, oh, but it has to have something in it. Crap. All right, so that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, hmm. Playing by yourself, you you sort of overthink yourself. Okay, um, let's see. Fine, I'll just take this five and I will set it here and I will turn one dice into one higher or one lower. In this case, I will turn this, no, I will turn this into a five. I don't know if that was the best choice, but I did it. All right, so moving, you can get analysis paralysis for sure. So I took the three, moved the middle card in the market to the trash pile. Oh man. All right, so what do I have left here? I have three gold. Oh. Um, I will... You know what guys, I've been doing this wrong. I'm not supposed to be trashing between. That's my bad, sorry. I won't trash anymore, that is my fault. I was getting excited because the enemy die was trashing things. They don't get trashed in between, meaning that next time I potentially could take the Mystic Cloak. So I'm actually gonna trash the pick pickpocket to take two gold. Okay, so I think that's it. Let me put these back. New cards come out instead of trashing everything. Duh. Sorry. And then we're gonna roll some more dice and we're gonna put another gold on that one. So six, yay, sixes. Sixes are good. Hmm, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so this six is going here. I'm gonna re-roll this two. Oh, one, great. Well, potentially I could use my strength here to flip that, so that's okay. Um, because I took the three, I rolled this. On a two, move the leftmost card in the market to the trash pile. Goodbye, heavy crossbow. Um, I will, however, for four gold, take the Mystic Cloak. Why, why not? So that goes down here. Now, if I get more things in green or blue classes, I get victory points, so that's good. Um, and I think that is the end of this round. So let's put those back. Let's add another gold. Let's put these out. And let's grab some more dice. I'm trying to like pull these dice without looking at them. And I'm rolling terribly, guys. Whew, that's tough. All right, so um, I'm obviously gonna take this and I'm gonna do whoop. Now, if you guys didn't see what I just did, I'd put this five in dexterity. The dexterity attribute modifier says switch two dice. I switch these two so that I end up with a purple in my intelligence, which gives me purple here at the end. I also have 18 here now, which is what I need for those four victory points. So I know I at least have five victory points, which is great. Okay, so, but now I roll this. On a one, move the leftmost card, so that's gone. Um, gain a victory point for each skill card you had. I have three. No, I have one. There's only one. Um, gain three victory points for each column on your character sheet with four or more dice of the same color. That's ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna trash this to take two gold. And we will continue. As you can see, there's a bunch of gold piling up on that. That's interesting. I might get tempted. So let's draw. Oh, and I need to put out my offer in the market. Ooh, those are better. Six, five, and a one. Um, hmm. So I need a 16 or 17 here. Currently, if I took this six, I could do that. But if I take this action, then that means I'm gonna I want to I'm gonna want to switch something, but what do I have to switch? So maybe I should take 
put it here and move one of these numbers up. I think that makes more sense. I keep wanting to take all the high numbers because I have all the high numbers. So here's a six. With constitution, right, raise or lower something by one. Um, I will make this a five. That's a five. Let's roll this. A three. Uh, move the middle card to the trash. Great. And I'm not keeping my trash and my discard separate. That's my bad. Um, quarter staff. When completing an attribute roll, gain two additional gold. Oh, if I had had that just a moment ago, that would have been helpful. Uh, before or after selecting an initiative card, flip all dice and the dice pool to their opposite side and re-roll them. Hmm. I'll discard this to gain some gold. Sorry, discard. I don't think that it really matters, but it might. Let me put out some new offer. These go away. This comes out. There's a lot of gold hanging out there. So let me draw three more. And we're almost to the end of the game, guys. Oh, God, that was awful. I'm gonna use my Intimidate skill to re-roll these two. Not much better. That was unfortunate. All right, so. Um, with my dexterity, I need a six. So that could be my six. What dice would I switch though? I could switch, and really I need a black here. So if I switch this, oh man. That's hard. I have a white here, I have a purple here. I need a black here. I technically would need a red here and a green here. Hmm. Now if I took, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this here for six and I'm gonna go whoop, which gives me a black at the end and it gives me a 16 total, which hits my dexterity, which is good. Let me roll this on a two, move the leftmost card into the trash. Great. All right. Um, again, I should have taken that quarter staff last turn. Search, search the dice bag and exchange one die on your character sheet with a die of the same face value. Whoa. That's awesome, I'm buying that. All right, so that goes there next to skills. Uh, and that is a turn. So let me get rid of these, put down a gold, set out. Ooh, look, another red, another green or blue thing. That's excellent news. So we have a five, a two, and a one. This gets refreshed. Um. Mm -hmm. So I should definitely take the green for here. I'm gonna do that. God, these, these so, this gold is hanging out, just like doing stuff, and I don't have enough gold. Maybe I should take that gold. All right, I'm gonna do this to take all this gold. I'm not gonna use my attribute action because my, my renegade is exactly where it needs to be. Um, this gets rolled. On a four to six, do nothing if I take the number two, so great. And then uh, I will spend four, one, two, three, four, to take the mystic cowl to go with my mystic cloak. Yeah, that's cool. And that's it. All right, so we're getting really close, guys. I'm gonna get some good dice down here. All right, yeah. Not great rolls. I'm rolling really badly, guys. All right, so, and then we set that out. Ooh, I don't need that color. Um, Let's see, so I can. <sighs> if I take this three, I can put it here. That'll give me the green, which is good. So let's see, so this one I have 16, which means it's set. 
This one I have 16, which means it's set. This one I have 18, which means it's set. This one I failed, fine. Charisma, I would like to succeed. So if I put this here, what's the opposite of a three? A four, not that great for my strength. <sighs> hmm. All right, so I'm gonna take this, but what I'm gonna do is before, oh no, sorry, before I take that, I will use Intimidate again. I will reroll everything. Oh yeah, that's so good. Okay, so I will take that six. That got, I was really lucky. I will also take a discount. So on a three, move the middle card in the market to the trash. Fine. Um, and now I have a discount on one thing. This is only good for this round. So sure. No, I don't want to use it. All right, I will. I just don't want to, I'm, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna, fine, I'm gonna use it. That was probably not the right thing to do, but we're so close to the end. All right, so let's put out some new stuff. And we've made it to the twos now, guys. If you notice, the, the little dots underneath the number indicate that we're on twos. And I have almost all my colors. I need this to be a red, so potentially I could switch something. Oh, such a bad roller today. There's supposed to be an extra one of those there. All right, so there's only two rounds left. Um, this gets reset. I will take this one to turn it into a six because of that action. Um, on a one, the enemy die is not rolled. I have no money, so I will just discard that to take two. And these get put back. This gets added, we get a new card. And last round, guys, let's hope for a good number. A five, a two, and a two. All right, so I'm obviously gonna take the five. Um, which, hold on, six, four, yep, 15. That's That works out really well. Guys, I think I did a good job. Except for that, I did a great job. Okay, so I took from three, so let me roll this. I rolled a one, move the leftmost to the trash, and then four, I don't have enough gold. This would be great. This says gain a, uh, a victory point for every two gold on your character sheet. So I would have gotten two extra victory points, but I only have two gold. I shouldn't have bought this quarter staff. Uh, oh no, when completing an attribute roll, gain two gold. I got my two gold just in time, guys. All right, so I'm gonna take that. That worked out. I don't know how that worked out, but I'm pretty sure I didn't cheat. Um, okay, so now we're at the end. I can count up my victory points. Let me move this off so you guys can see. Put these away, discard that. So, whew, here is my card. Um, and we are now going to count victory points. So the easiest way usually to do this is to track this little scoring thing here. So they start with attribute goals. So strength of 14 or higher, uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, but minus two, so this is 12 plus five is 17, minus two is 15, so I still get it. So that gives me one star, to dupe. Uh, dexterity, they wanted me to have 15, I mean 16 or 17, so I have 16. There's no modifier here, so I get two points, boop, boop. Constitution, I need a 15 or a 16, and I have a 16, and there's no modifier here, so boop, boop. Intelligence, 18. I get four stars, one, two, three, four. Wisdom, one star worth. I failed miserably, so no stars for that. Um, this only equals five. I can't even use any of my other things. However, gain two if either your intelligence or your wisdom is eight or less. So I am gonna get two when we get over here, but not yet. We're gonna work through. Charisma, finally, uh, is gonna be... Uh, 
11, 15, which matches that. So two more victory points. All right, now they say class colored ice. So this is this sheet, which is your background. So I'm looking for blue, black, uh, white, purple, red, I failed, and green. So if I have four or five, uh, I get three victory points. So one, two, three. Alignment card, I, that was like an easy peasy one for me. So that's an automatic three more victory points. One, two, three. Backstory card. Oh, sorry, class color dice. My apologies. If I had class, I, I only have one. That was my bad. The backstory card I, I did during section two, but really I'm supposed to get a one point for my one blue die. I had no other blue die. Um, armor cards. So over here under armor, plus one for each set if worn by green or blue classes. I am a blue class. So I have uh, two, so I get three victory points. One, two, three. And then finally, trait cards. So let's see what my trait cards, which are these bottom ones over here. Um, Envious gain one gold, one victory point for every two gold dice on your character sheet. So two, uh, one, two. So two, one, two. Gain two victory points if either your intelligence or your wisdom attribute score is eight or less. My wisdom is really low. It's a five. So that's two more. One, two. Win scoring attribute goals plus two or minus two value to any single attribute. So because I didn't need to do this, that leaves me with an overall score of 25. Um, so now we can sold the book and we see what the book says. Um, they have this lovely handy little chart here at the back to let us know how we did. Uh, 25, oh, hireling. Um, if I had gotten one more point, I would have been an adventurer. I used to be an adventurer and then I took it, no. Um, okay, and if it says, um, for every eight gold the player has at the end of the game, the player earns one additional reputation star. I don't have any gold left. All right, so a hireling, not great, but I could be worse, I could be an NPC. Um, so yeah, so that is single player role player. Obviously it does not take 60 to 90 minutes if you are playing with just one person. Um, and obviously I narrated to myself the whole time, just for you guys. I don't typically talk to myself. Um, but the point being is that it is a pretty fast game that you can play and challenge yourself against your previous scores to see if you can do better. Um, a true hero is a 38 or more. So I have a long way to go before I'm gonna hit that mark. Um, Thank you so much for bearing with me as we played today. Uh, obviously, if I messed up anything, if I missed any rules, please comment below. Um, we can all improve with each other's help. Um, and if you've played role player, how do you prefer to play? Do you prefer to play with one player, two, three, four? What do you think? Um, this was my first time playing one player. I definitely could see myself just pulling this out and rolling some dice when the urge strikes, because who doesn't love rolling dice, even if you roll poorly? Um, so I think that is gonna be it for today. I really appreciate everyone sticking around and watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if this is something that interests you. Um, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.